I always loved all the action movies and spy movies growing up. I enjoyed a lot of them. And then when I got, when I came to Clarkson University and I saw signs up for participating in biometric collections and getting paid to give your biometric data. Came in, participated as a subject, asked lots of questions about everything that was going on, and from there got offered to come in and start working. And for me, it makes me feel a little bit like one of the people in one of the spy movies because now I'm doing all the different things that they were doing in the movie. Collecting these fingerprints off of different places, making these fakes, getting into the systems and having the system actually allow me access because I made a high quality enough fake fingerprint. If you're using something for security like a fingerprint, then there's a reason, right? Because there is some criminal element who wants to work against you in that process um, and either not be recognized you know, as that criminal element or to pose as somebody else. And so what, what David's research is about is to um, recognize when someone's trying to fake a biometric device, to fake a fingerprint. She's been one of the lead researchers in the field of biometrics, specifically in lab detection. She's been saying for over a decade now to look at lab detection, to look at the ability of a biometric device to be fooled, whereas not a lot of people were. Clarkson puts a lot of its efforts towards the advancement of research. We are definitely a research institution, which is why I see so many other students coming from different countries just to make sure they can study here. Because they know that the graduate programs are going to be superior, they are going to get a very good education, and they're going to publish very strong dissertations that are going to give them a healthy career.